I'd like to give you a quick tour of the course to explain how things are laid out and also to explain why this course will look considerably different than other courses in the PIDP program. We've designed this course to be uh, more effective for mobile devices and to simplify the navigational structure and to make it as easy as possible to find all the key information. I also want to make sure that you're aware of a variety of different views. This is my preferred view to, in going through the Moodle uh, shell and that's having a navigation structure on the side. Um, some people like to simply shut this down and then use the structure built into uh, the main body of the course. Um, having both these open allows you to navigate in multiple ways and I find it quite easy to access information in this fashion and to go back to areas that I want. We've reduced the course to four key modules or sections, getting started, course forms, the wrap up and the VCC policies. The getting started section really is the place where you're going to spend uh, most of your time looking at the instructions, taking a look at a wide assortment of videos that we've created to help you get a sense of what needs to be done. And I, I really want to you to pay attention to this course activities document. Uh, yes, there's going to be a course activities uh, video that will explain some of the things, uh, the assignments, the activities, but this course activities document is the key document that gives you all the details, instructions, tells you how you're going to be evaluated, and so on. Now, as you can see from the titles here, we've got videos on uh, setting up a meeting, the reflective writing, looking at the whole notion of cognitive sciences, the research presentation itself, and the presentation observation. So you're, you have an overview in these videos, but it's this key document that will give you the full details. So make sure you've got access to this at all times and uh, use it to really see what you need to do in this course. The next section of the course is the course forums. Now, just before I go here, I, I want to also remind you that setting up a meeting with me is extremely important. You're going to find a link to my calendaring system, uh, where, uh, which points to the office hours that are run. If some of those office hours don't work for you, you can, you can send me an email or give me a phone call and we can arrange, uh, arrange an alternate time. Now, in the course forums, you're going to see um, a coffee shop. This is a, a place that we can get together, share ideas, and discuss. It's an informal setting. Um, your first activity that will be reviewed is a reflective writing, and this is where you will post your reflective writing. You'll see the presentation announcement form, and this is really important. You need to announce your presentation a minimum of 10 days before you are, are ready to present. This will give people enough time to be able to um, join you and participate in your session. We found that three, four, five days just isn't enough. 10 days seems to be that minimum time that people can allow to be able to join you in presentations. When you do your presentation yourself, this is where you post it and you would also post your reference list below the presentation and you would also post your observation, your own observation below your presentation. So you're going to spend a fair amount of time working in this area. Uh, you're going to be watching other people's presentations to get a sense of what's going on or viewing or joining other people in the presentations after you've uh, seen where, when they're going to present. So this is going to be an important section of uh, the course. We have a going deeper resources section and on my website, on my blog, I uh, often will post a uh, short post about an interesting book or a video that I watch. I often post links to videos on Wednesdays. And what we'd like to do is give you an opportunity to share some interesting books, some interesting articles, or some videos that you found fascinating as you're doing your research. That would really be helpful for others. You're not going to be evaluated on this, but this is a wonderful place to share additional resources. I'll be posting here occasionally, and uh, we encourage you to do so as well. Uh, you'll see the course wrap-up section here, and this gives you a chance to give us feedback. We're always looking to improve this course. We want to make it the most effective that we can, and so we're always looking forward to hearing your feedback. And then in the last section, uh, if you've done any work at all in the PIDP program, you'll recognize the VCC policies. If you need to uh, do anything from an administrative, uh, administrative perspective, this is where you're going to find the key information. 
This is how the course is laid out. I'm looking forward to working with you. Don't hesitate to reach out to me at any time so that I can um, help you get the right start or help you deal with a situation or a problem or resolve a question that is um, challenging you.